just because they are male and they got a Ooh. Well, just because they are male and they got that fetish eyes, fetish, fetish eyes, you just, just avoid those. guys welcome back to my channel and I'm so excited to be doing this plus size dating tips video a lot of people that asked me to do it so I'm doing it for you guys so we're gonna go right ahead with this video but don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified every time I make a you know a upload you guys so we're gonna go right ahead into this video Okay, y'all, so the first tip I have for this is loving yourself. You have to love yourself before you can love somebody else because it's not possible to give love to somebody else, a significant other, or just somebody you're just trying to, you know, date and see where it's going. If you don't love yourself, you wouldn't know how to treat that other person because you don't love yourself. You got to have self-love before you can even jump into a relationship with somebody. All right, you guys, tip number two is don't be that insecure big girl. We all know that type of person and that type of big girl. I love everybody, but nobody likes to really be around that big girl that be like, oh, I'm too fat. I don't think nobody go want me. I'm too big. So they ain't gonna want me. I'm like, baby, have y'all seen my 600 pound life? Most of them women that be on there have husbands. So I'm like, they can find somebody, guess what, you can find somebody too. You just can't be that insecure big girl cause nobody really likes to be around that type of big girl cause it's kind of depressing and everything. But like, if you're trying to find somebody to be with, you can't be like that if you're looking for somebody cause they ain't gonna be around somebody that's like, oh, we can't do this cause I'm so big and this, that, and the third. Baby, we ain't doing that, not 2021. Tip number three I have for you guys is being confident in your body. You need to be confident in your body so it'll make you able to approach men when you wanna talk to them and stuff like that if you wanna date them and everything. And you need to be, you gotta be confident in the bed. Point blank period, like no dude ain't gonna want no girl. They're scared to ride and all that. I'm like, they already knew what you look like when y'all first met each other. They already knew you was thick in the cut thighs, cute in the waist, titties, everything, back rolls. They already knew that. So once y'all get up in that bedroom, you better be confident enough to get up on that thing and whoop. <laughs> uh, but look, <laughs> but y'all know what I y'all know what I mean. Like, you gotta be confident. No dude gonna want somebody that's like, oh, I'm too big, we can't do it like that. I'm like, girl, you better go ahead and get up on that thing and do what you gotta do. Like, you guys, men love, really love a confident plus size big girl. Like, being confident is sexy, you guys. Men love women that are confident. They're very attracted to women in general that are confident. So, you got to make sure you're confident with your body. So what if you're the only big girl out of your group that you have? Just make sure you're the baddest bitch that you can be, baby. Oh, yeah. And another thing, confidence-wise, like when you're walking around like anywhere, never walk around with your head down. You have to walk like posture good, back arched, you know. You gotta walk with that confidence. You gotta never hold your head down while you're walking. And when you're talking to somebody, you need to look them dead in the eye. Like tip number four, <clears throat> you got, hold on. I got thirsty. All right, tip number four is you guys need to pay attention to signs. And by pay attention to signs, is like when a dude at like, he don't wanna go out with you in public and like you know something up with that he's trying to hide you or he might have somebody on the side and he don't want to be seen out in public with you or take pictures and stuff with you and girl we don't need no dude like that because if you don't want to show me off but we can go to the next because i ain't my, I'm, I'm not that type of person like if i want to go out somewhere we're gonna go out where everybody can see and stuff like that Tip number five, this one right here 
it's like something that I've known about, but it ain't never, I ain't never encountered this right here. Don't allow yourself to be fetishized, fetished eyes. You know what I'm trying to say, it's over here. Fetishized or sexualized. Cause there's a lot of people, especially I've noticed on the clubhouse, it'd be a lot of chat rooms that be like, wanting big girls to come on there. Just so, like, it's just, ugh, it's just nasty. I don't like it. Like, if you hanging out with a dude and y'all trying to get to know each other and stuff like that, and he keep moving on to like sex and wanting to touch on you and stuff like that and not even trying to talk, don't even waste your time with that type of person because he is sexualizing you or fetishizing your, you know, fat. Cause a lot of, I don't have people coming to my DM talking about, I will pay you money, send pictures of your jelly arms and stuff like that. I'm like, that's not, I'm, I'm not finna uh-uh. Just like I had this one dude try to get some pictures of my feet. I said, <laughs> no, you ain't about to get these feet, baby. Oh yeah, you guys. And while y'all dating and stuff, on the internet and everything like that make sure like just don't gravitate to the websites that are like plus size women oriented because like you know people with fat fetishes and stuff like that like they know a lot of plus size women will go to these online dating sites for plus size women looking for plus size women and they just want to fetishize fetish fetish eyes you just just avoid those or just don't, just be careful if you do go on plus size dating sites because it'll make it very easy for men that do that. It'll be very easy for them to find you if you're on websites like that, cause you know. And last, but certainly not least, know your worth. You're worth the world, you're worth everything. Don't dim your light just for somebody else. Know your worth, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, you're plus size, and you that bitch. So, if a nigga don't know your worth, kick that nigga to the curb. We ain't got time for that. You should know your worth. Don't just date any old dude that comes your way just because they're giving you attention. Maybe you're worth more than that. Just because they show some interest in you don't mean you have to go to that person. If you do that, like you just go with anybody that comes your way without having any standards just because they're a male and they got a Ooh. Well, just because they are male and they got that thing right there don't mean that they're the right ones for you. There are plenty of fish in the sea. If one dude don't freaking like you, guess what? There's a bunch of other dudes that might want you. You just got the wrong one at the moment. So, and y'all, please stop dating these men just because they give you attention. Just because a man come up to you and say, hey, you're pretty and this, that, and the third, don't mean you have to date them, fill them out, see how it's going and everything. You don't have to jump right into the relationship just because he's interested. Even if you're not used to people, you know, coming up to you and wanting to date you and stuff like that, you gotta, uh-uh. Because all I know is you're worth everything. You deserve the wear. You're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're plus size, big, sexy, titty, girl. So you need to know your worth. Cause like, if you don't know your worth, you're you're allowing dudes that you're you you're allowing dudes that you date to be able to take advantage of you and to control you because you don't know how much you're worth. So you need to know that before you even start going on the dating scene because dudes will take advantage of that if you don't know yourself or you don't love yourself. Like all these. <gasps> <clears throat> all these steps they can take advantage of you but thank you guys for watching this video if y'all want me to do any more tips and tricks like that i might be doing some riding tips on sex and stuff like that so let me know if y'all want me to do videos about sex and tips and stuff for plus size women let me know in the comments about below because i sure will do it for y'all but if y'all don't ask i ain't gonna do it i ain't gonna lie so I love you guys. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified when I post these videos. And y'all, I'm gonna be doing a city train haul soon because I got this little fit right here from City Trend. So look at that bit. I like this whole outfit and it was only like $10. I gotta do a city train haul, y'all. It's been calling my name. I've been going there so much, spending so much money. But alright you guys, I love you guys and I'll see y'all in my next video.